welcome to Brian's Action Figure Reviews. Guys, it is the start of a new year. It is 2022. So what better way to start off the new year with some brand new figures. And today I'm going to do something of a first on this channel. I'm going to review a whole wave in one go. Well, I am missing one because Hasbro didn't send it because Hasbro are dicks. They're, they're lovely people, really. No, there has been some distribution issues. So one figure is missing from the wave, but I do have all the rest of them and It was a pretty long journey this morning to get them, but thanks to Big Bang Comics. I have gotten the whole Spider-Man retro series So let's start with Symbiote Spider-Man a black Spider-Man. I don't have and he looks absolutely fantastic in the package I love the, the backing card and everything on the back it says Symbiote Spider-Man Spider-Man gets an all-new look when he finds a sleek black costume in a space shuttle wreck. Little does Spider realize he's joined himself to the predatory alien symbiote Venom. And as you can see there, I love the old the old style toy biz stuff. The Spider-Man thing here. So yeah, he is pretty awesome. That's one. Then we have the Ben Riley Spider-Man. Again, looks fantastic in the box. I will be taking out, it does come with two different sets of hands. And on the back it says, after years of self-imposed in exile, Spider-Man is back, now calling himself Ben Riley and sporting a brand new costume and web shooter, the wall crawler returns to fight crime. So there's some awesome artwork and stuff there as well. And yeah, he's really cool. I'm looking forward to getting this guy out. And this one, this is my favorite one right here, straight away. Like my love for this costume comes from the Spider-Man animated series. I think they, were, they, they went into like a parallel universe where Green Goblin and Hobgoblin and Carnage or Spider Carnage were like ruining the city and they went and got all different Spider-Men to help them out. And this guy, Armored Spider, was like a billionaire from another from another reality and he used to shoot lasers as well. He was a total cocky asshole. He, he's so awesome. I, I think I had like the, uh, the Toy Biz one that they released in the 90s. And he's just really, really cool. Absolutely love him. I can't wait to get him on the box. On the back it says, when Spider's Spider-Man's powers aren't enough, he dons his, pat his patented spider armor. This ceramic metal battle suit protects Spidey from his deadliest foes, giving him the time he needs to take it to the bad guys. And you can see it there on the back. It looks so cool. Very happy with this one more than anything else, I think. And as one Hasbro Wave said last year, bring on the villains. So here is the first one, Herman Schultz, a.k.a. The Shocker. And very, very cool. It's almost like cartoon accurate. I love that he comes with separate gauntlets as well. And it does say on the back, Shocker's vibro units allow him to bast blast through solid metal or hurl long-range vibrational punches. But they've yet to help him defeat his eternal nemesis, the amazing Spider-Man. And I just, like, I have to put these two together to recreate that scene. Where Spider-Man is hanging Shocker off, off the bell tower and he's like, Shocker! You're gonna die! Or, or something like that. And then he loses the Venom suit. But um, yeah, he looks absolutely awesome. Really happy to get him. I had the I had the one I think from maybe three years ago. And I wasn't, I don't know, I just wasn't happy with it, but this one looks the this one looks the absolute business. Very cool. And last but not least, can't have a Spider-Man wave without a goblin. And here is the Hobgoblin. Now the one thing I will say about this, he is very, he's very TV accurate in that he doesn't have, he doesn't have like the, the metally kind of armor on the legs and hands like the, the comic book release one did. And a lot of people are going to complain about that, I know, but I don't care. It's, it's really nice to me. Uh, yeah, he's really cool. I love the picture as well, right out of the animated series. Now I don't, I don't think these are exactly animated series figures. I think they're actually like comic book figures on just using the classic thing. I'm not 100% sure on that. It does say, <clears throat> deploying an entire arsenal of pumpkin bombs and razor sharp bats from his goblin glider. The criminal mastermind Hobgoblin has Spider-Man constantly on his guard. So yeah guys, these are absolutely awesome figures. And I just can't wait to open them all. So let's do it. So here is the Hobgoblin and he looks really great. The one thing I will say straight off the bat is this isn't up to the standard of the previous one. 
if you're looking for a comic book accurate hobgoblin. He does not have the chainmail kind of armor that the previous goblins had. It's just very matte blue here. And that goes for the rest of the figure all over. It's just very yellow and blue. The detail isn't ma amazing on this guy, but I do love the face sculpt. It's excellent on this guy. I really, really like this face sculpt. And it looks really good. Now he does have at the back the torn cape as well. That is really a nice touch. He does have his like man bag forward slash satchel, which is fine as well. That goes around him well. Now let's get to the problem to this figure. He's articulated really, really well. Like most Marvel Legends, you have the head will go down like that. It will go up a good bit. You get some side to side motion. You have full rotation of the bicep swivel. The bicep swivel goes around. Double jointed elbows. You have wrist movement, which is all good. You do have waist swivel. Ab crunch as well, which is quite tight. So be careful with that. If you hear it, just cracked it in there. Legs go out like that, full splitsies. You do have hip swivels, thigh swivels, and double jointed knees, boot rotation, and ankle rockers. So now he looks all discombobulated after all that. But now let's get to some of the problems with this figure. And I think it's mostly to do with the accessories. Now, if I show you the pumpkin bomb, if you can see there, but the pumpkin bomb is quite cool. It does have the little face on it there, if you can see. Now the problem is, it doesn't fit in either of, his, either of his hands. I've almost lost it a couple of occasions trying to squash it into his hand. So that's very annoying, that doesn't fit. And the glider, the glider is quite small. It looks lovely, it's cool. You can even see the eyes there, are painted in and the teeth are there. It looks nice, but it is really, really small and the foot, the, the foot things annoy me because they're at the right, the back, right at the back of the figure when they should be more in the middle. So when you put him into it, and he doesn't have the, like the, he doesn't have the, 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 the goblin feet to keep him in it. So when you put him into it, he invariably either falls over or his weight. Oh, there you go. So there you go with the, the goblin glider. Other, other than that, other than the accessory problems, he's a very effective figure. Again, a lot will have a problem with you no, know, with a lack of detail on the legs and the arms. But for me, it's fine. It's perfectly cartoon accurate. And yeah, so that's all I wanted from my Hobgoblin. So very happy to have him. On to the next one. And next up is the spider armor. This one for me, as I probably said earlier, is from the Spider-Man. Well, for me, anyway, it's from the Spider-Man animated series. When we had another Spider-Man come from another universe who was like a rich billionaire spider-man peter parker and he created this this suit that could shoot lasers and everything and i've always wanted this this suit as, as in figure form since so delighted to have this guy you know i know that one had that one had silver eyes and this one has black but still it is really really cool i do love the design you can see on along here it's all sculpted and everything it's done really really well same with the pads and the arms and the, forearms and stuff just a really really nicely done figure i love the spider on the back as well you can see this like it's all like some sort of fabric you can really see it yeah nice that nice ass too but a really well done figure it has all the usual articulation can look up can look down to the side all the way around bicep swivels double jointed elbows he has waist swivel Ankle or ankles, chest articulation, legs go out fully, has tie swivels, double jointed knees, no boot swivel as it kind of does in the boot, and ankle articulation also. So, this is a fantastic figure. I do think they could have used butterfly joints maybe on his shoulders, but that's only a minor uh, problem. He does come with two twipping hands as well that are nicely done, and some new web effects, which I don't have. So they're really cool. You can put them across on, a, on a, a downed foe, so to speak. And a splatting one as well, which is really nice. So yeah, something new with him. So very happy with this guy. On to the next one. And next up, we've got the Ben Riley Spider-Man, which is done on the same body as the much-wanted retro Spider-Man. And it really is 
a great body. So I'm glad to see this getting reused. This guy is excellent. He comes with four different hands. He's got two twipping hands on him. Comes with two punching hands also. And two wall crawling hands, which a lot of people have been looking for previously on other Spider-Man figures. So that is really cool. I love the design of this character. This costume, I should say. The spider going all the way around. And it does, of course, reach all the way back. Face is really, really nice as well. Now, this was released previously as a spider carnage. Now, if you do have a spare carnage head, such as this, it does fit. So I'm going to do that for you right now. So if you want to make your own spider, spider carnage, you can if you have a spare carnage head. Unfortunately, I don't have the tendril the hands that the original one came with. So this one will have to do. Again, if you want to have a quick look at the head that's on it, it's really, really nice. It'll work for your regular Spider-Man as well. So yeah, articulation-wise, let's do this. He goes down, he goes up, and there's a gap at the back to give your neck that bit more upward range, which is really cool. He does have the bicep swivels, or sorry, the butterfly joints, and rotation there, bicep, bicep rotation as well. Double jointed elbows, hands go up and down and around. There is no tie swivel, but the whole thing here moves around up and down very nicely. And of course there's a, an ab articulation as well. So you do get a really good range of poses on this guy. So you can get all sorts of Spider-Man poses if you're good enough. No, I'm not obviously. But yeah, you can get stuff like this. I think like figures like this in the future, I know it's a bit extra money. Like they should like include fl flight stands. Because I've been messing around with this guy in a flight stand and it's the most fun I've had with a Spider-Man figure in a while. Uh, legs do go out, tie swivels, double jointed knees, and boot rotation and ankle rockers. This guy really has the whole lot, except for this carnage head in case you're watching in the middle. But uh, yeah, so Ben Reilly, he's one of the best of the bunch actually. And up next is the classic Spider-Man villain Herman Schultz, aka the Shocker. He is really nice. Um, I've been looking forward to getting him for a while. I had the original version that came out a good three years ago, maybe. But I think this version is a tad better. The only thing I would do with this is I would do the lines darker. And I see some people on the Marvel Legends Community UK group have used like um, a Sharpie, like a really thin Sharpie to colour in the black lines along. Because, I don't know, he just doesn't. He looks great. Let's not mess about. He does look great, but he just looks very pale or blank or dull. I don't know what the word is. But yeah, he could definitely be spruced up a little bit with darker lines on the costume. Other than that, I'm really happy with him. He's really, really cool. Let's look at his, uh, articulate, or his accessories. So he comes with these, which if you're, if you're a Marvel Legends collector, you'll have seen them a million times with psychic characters and stuff. Now he can't use them. But he does come with this, these uh, different hand gauntlets, so you can use them or something. I don't know how this is supposed to work, but um, yeah, he comes with separate gauntlets. So you can put it on like that and as if he's doing his thing. But other than that, he has just fists. Articulation wise, there's a full range of movement on the arms, bicep swivels, double jointed elbows. As I said, no, there's a spin here, a rotation here. The head, you get a good look up, good look down. No real side to side, it does rotate around a good bit though. You have our ab crunch there, waist swivel, legs go all the way out, go all the way up. This far back, he does have double jointed knees and a tie swivel as well and boot rotation below the boot, which is weird and ankles go all the usual ways. So that is Shocker. So let's remove one of the gauntlets just to show you how it looks. So that just pops right off. So yeah, Shocker is pretty awesome and really good figure. How does he line up with height-wise next to Spider-Man? Let's check it out. I'm not actually sure how tall he's supposed to be, but Spider-Man is just about the same height. Maybe a little bit taller, yeah. So, on to the last one. So, last but not least is the symbiote Spider-Man, the black costume Spider-Man. And this is on the same body again. 
as the Ben Riley and the Retro Spider-Man, which is pretty cool. I really like that. They've done the same thing again, but it looks absolutely fantastic. If you look up close, they've done such and such a good job. Again, the one thing I'll note about all of these figures is there's absolutely little to our little to no paint mess ups. Now, when I was buying Legends only like maybe a year ago, even less, a lot of them are prone to having bad paint spillages and stuff. But these are really, really good. And I'm very excited to see that the QC has improved so much. Again, he comes with two twipping hands, again, like the other ones, and two crawling hands. So very, very nice indeed. It would have been nice to have some web stuff as well with these guys, not just hands. He does have, of course, butterfly giant's head goes up and down. Again, it has that neck thing at the back. So you can get more upward movement on the neck. Shoulders, of course, go fully the round way. Bicep swivels, double elbows, double elbows, joint, double jointed elbows, I should say. Wrists, again, you get all that movement again. And you have that double kind of pivot at the at the ab crunch so you can get all that looking down. So you can practically get him touching his own knees. Um, legs go out. You have thigh swivels, double jointed knees. And you do have boot swivels and ankle rockers. So yeah, that is everything for this wave. This Spider-Man is absolutely class. I've always loved the black costume ever since, ever since Secret Wars. And some of the stuff they've done with it in the movies is bad. It's just become meme quality by now. So yeah, guys, this wave as a whole has been fantastic. And I hope that they do more Spider-Man retro waves because I love like the likes of Scorpion, Rhino, and other Spider-Man costumes we haven't gotten as well. Whose names escaped me at this time. But like there is so much more. You get an Aunt Mayo maybe. Also guys. Seeing as this is the first time. I've done a whole wave. I rarely like I rarely get. A full wave in one go. So like let me know what you think. Of me doing a whole wave. In one video. It's just easier to skip one video than five I suppose. But uh, I'm totally kidding. But uh, let me know what you think. Of this guys. And should it be something I keep doing. Having a multiple figure review. Anyway. We'll see you on the next one, guys. If you're feeling nice, do hit that subscribe button. It does help a lot. And hit the, hit the like. And tell us below in the comments what you think of this wave. Will you be getting it? And as soon as I have Hammerhead, I will have a review of him up on his own as well. So hopefully you will be watching that one too. And we will see you later, guys. Have a great one. Bye.